was. I remember you telling me the story. The Book of Revelations by T.C. Mann. Before church, I'd sit between my mother's legs. She'd oil my scalp and wrap a hair tie tightly around a section of my hair. We were butted up, my sisters and I, lather than Vaseline that my mama would scrape from the jar. Little girls, she would say, dressed in white blouses, they crossed their legs. She fastened on pink flowers to our collars and stringed the three of us in a strand of pearls, then began to iron our father's tie. Once finished, she laid next to his press suit and say, now go on and eat, daddy's gonna meet us down there. We'd eat two pieces of bacon stuffed between a folded piece of bread, gulp down the sticky bit of milk that she set aside for us. And then we watched her gather herself. She wore dresses the color of rubies, deep plum, a stained red or perhaps wine. She sent me stockings up her wide hips, careful not to make a tear. And her makeup she applied for what seemed to be forever. Concentrate on the frame of your face, she'd say. Make it softer. Then she'd apply a plush rose to her lips, run her fingers through her bangs, over her forehead, covering her eyes. At church, Miss Nessie would usher us in, extend her hand and point to the pew. My mama would turn to me and say, tell her we're saving a seat for your daddy. There was a waving of the arms stretched up to the ceiling, heads thrown back with mouths that hollered amen. There was the bubble gum I spit into the napkin and my mama pressed to my lips. All things holy were to happen here. The church mothers sang hymns and rocked their bodies into the seats. The deacons closed their eyes and sighed, prayed a masculine prayer. The choir shook their tambourines until their elbows gave out, a praise and worship for us. The pastor dressed in a long robe that trailed across the floor and buttoned to the tip of his chin. He'd say, don't it feel good to be in the house of the Lord? Then the church collectively replied, yes, pastor, just one more time. I shoved the ring dollar bill my mama gave me for offering into my bite-sized breast and prayed to God my mama ain't see and slap me real good. I closed my eyes, faked the Holy Ghost, traced the wetness of my tongue across my teeth, made up my mind I was gonna sneak another piece of bubble gum. After church, we pull our blouses over our heads and shove them into the bottom of the hamper. Argue over the shower, argue over the TV. My mama would bust through the door, her belt dangling, threatening to punish us good. We then set the table, carry out the plates, pour an orange juice into cups that rested on counters, couldn't take a sip until our dinner was down. We mentioned to mama a field trip, tell her it's $11, be ignored. She'd hand me a bear for my father. It was to be seated at the head of the table. We gather around, lock hands and bow our heads, remember to be thankful. We shut our eyes tight, my belly fixed on the hot piece of fried meat. Then my father would shout, his lips parted like the sea. He'd say, I ask for a cold goddamn bear. Then my mother would flinch, her head almost knocked from her shoulder. All praise be to God. Amen. Just keep it rolling, Daddy. Mommy, what you gonna tell a story about?